Hip-Hops is 1987.com. Terrell Thomas, and we're live right now on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. And as you can see, we're here for a matinee for the Atlanta Dream as they come into the game with a record of 3-1, and one, and they're hosting the 0-5 San Antonio Stars. Now, the Stars do have just that, a lot of elite talent on their team, including number one overall pick from the University of Washington, Kelsey Plum. This will be a very interesting game today. We'll be looking to see if our Atlanta Dream can remain atop of the East in the WNBA and move on to a record of 4-1. Or will the Stars get their first victory of the 2017 WNBA season? Make sure you stay tuned to Hip Hop 1987. Follow Terrell Thomas and Danny Digital for all your Atlanta Dream updates. Run with the Dream. Um, I feel like we could have just came in with more energy, which, which we didn't, but I feel like overall after halftime we picked it up and the pace of the game got better for us and we came out with a W. Is this, um, should this have been a bigger win? Should this have not as been as close of a game um, with this team? Uh, I feel like, like I said, we came out a little sluggish. Um, we were on ourselves today, and I feel like um, we just had to regroup ourselves at halftime, which we did, and we came out more aggressive and more energized, and I feel like that's what helped us get this win. Talk about your game today. You know, play of the game, 15 and 8. What was your, what was your mindset today? Uh, just picking it up. I feel like I was a little slow starting off, as well as all the rest of us were. And, you know, just coming out here and, you know, just doing whatever I need to do to help my team win. Do you think the slow start had something to do with the early start time of the game? Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but we're not used to playing this early, so that could that could possibly be it. <laughs> Kelsey Plum only played 12 minutes, but what did you know to stop the game? Uh, she's... Handled the ball well, shoot the ball well. Um, she wasn't really on today, but I mean, she didn't really play a lot, so I mean, I really didn't get to see her in action, in action. But that's what I know about her. Going four and one, going on the road trip, we gotta be a risk. You feel good for the uh, Definitely, just we're on the road for the next five games. So this was good, us winning this home game. And, you know, just coming out. Um, we have to come out more aggressive next time, on especially on the weight games. Yeah, that first half was a little sluggish, but second half y'all seem to pick it up. For me, it is 11:30 in the morning. Right? <laughs> um, we just we just um, had to come out then with some energy and we kind of lock our stuff for a minute. And then we kind of pick it up. They, they have good shooters and good spaces, so we were kind of stretched out for a minute until we figured out uh, where we're supposed to be exactly, and then the game was different. Since the last season, you had, um, you had to sit out for a bit with injury. How does it feel to be? <laughs> yeah, how does it feel to be back in the game, literally? Um, I went overseas in the off season, so it's it's just a continuation of what I did over there. Um, with with playing here, the coaches kind of gave me a little bit more rest during practice and stuff, so my body could stay um, in shape for the games. Um, everybody know that I'm up there in age, been playing a long time. <laughs> And so they kind of look at me as I can't do what I'm supposed to do, but once I step between those lines, I'm going to give all my effort. How does it feel being a veteran and being a league leader? Talk about that honor. We have five on the team that are leading in, in, in five different areas in the league. Um, I mean, I'm defensive-minded first. Um, this is the position that I played when I first started playing. And um, if I, I kind of, I would, this is my secret, but I, I kind of in the first quarters and stuff. I kind of watch the plays um, as they happen, and if I see it happen again, I know it's it, what is going to happen. And so I anticipate a lot of stuff, and maybe I'm leading in steals, and it's it's that just something that I do. 
ready for this long road trip? Um, unfortunately, I won't be on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you do when you don't get to go to the road trip? How do you stay in shape? How do you stay ready? Well, I sleep. If I don't go nowhere, I'm in my bed. Um, this is the only way that I could stay um, healthy long enough. Just keeping off my legs and um, just staying home and just chilling. What a great win this afternoon for our Atlanta Dream as they move on to a record of 4-1 and one with a big 77-7 victory over the now 0-6 San Antonio Stars. Now, the big stars tonight for our Atlanta Dream were, as usual, Tiffany Hayes and Bria Holmes. Bria Holmes finished the game with 15 points, while Tiffany Hayes finished the game with 16 points. Now, our Atlanta Dream will be hitting the road for a big road game. They'll be hitting the road this Sunday as they'll be taking on the Washington Mystics. It'll be a few weeks before our Dream get back into town, so make sure you stay tuned to Hip Hop since 1987. Follow Terrell Thomas and Danny Digital as we'll be bringing you all Atlanta Dream coverage as they're on the road. Hip Hop since 1987.com.